Hey, what up everybody? I'm Cynical, and this is Gems of War on PS4. And today we have the new class trial for the Monk. Uh, the Monk looks like it's going to be one of the better uh, classes in the game. Uh, top three, maybe? Something like that. So, uh, let's go through the class quest real quick. Um, and then we'll get started on uh, the battles, and uh, I'll show you the talents and everything for and the traits. Um, Ping Long. So you are exactly where you need to be once again. Where is that? A good question, little traveler. Where are any of us? What? On this day, though, you are with Ping Long, and for good reason. Why? Today it is time you learn to weigh the balance of all things as a monk. Okay. Balance light and dark. Learn how to become a, p a monk with Ping Long. Ping Long, observe the light and dark. Alright, what am I going to use? Probably my fast team and hope that it can uh, one shot. I got um, all armor medals on. Rowane, you should know the normal fast Rowane team by now. If you don't, then go check it out in one of my other videos. But it's pretty much any weapon that's not green or blue. And then Rowane, Leprechaun, and Mirage Queen fully traded if possible. And, um,. A lot of the times fully traded is uh, recommended for sure. I should have done a leprechaun there. I don't know what I'm doing, but there we go. There's the one shot. Let's get through this. It says something about fire and ice. Control the fire and ice. Monk is pretty cool. I've always liked monk classes in games. Like a fighter that doesn't use weapons or they use like staves and, and you know, weapons that other... You know, most uh, warriors will use a sword or uh, axe or whatever, and monks was always, are always using like staves and clubs and whatnot, and like fist weapons. Balance earth and sea. Ping long. Feel the earth and sea. Feel the earth and sea. Got a red extra turn. We got our Rowan up. Hopefully it one-shots, and it does. If yours doesn't, then you can just uh, cast your hero, then. Ping Long, be one with might and magic. Shin Tang is the kingdom for this uh, class. I think you can now get it to 12-star, maybe? And 12-star, is that where you get the stat? Uh, I don't know. But I would make this a, a high priority for leveling. Like, if you're doing something else at the moment, maybe you could finish it up. You know, you don't have to switch immediately. But I would say whatever class you were going to level up next, uh, put it to the back burner and do this one instead. And maybe even throw some gems at it in the uh, shop. Just, just so, do you feel the balance, the crooks of the universe? Kind of. When we first met, I asked you a question. I remember. Are you lost or found? Are you wise or a fool? All of the above. Very good. Those who master the balance are indeed all things. I see. Alright, so are we a monk now? Yes, we are a monk. Alright, let's go in and try to make a little team here. Uh, look at everything real quick. I'm not going to do too much. Uh, the rewards are always crappy for this, so... Don't worry about that. Just uh, Orb of Chaos at the end, a couple gems. Mostly the reward is the Monk experience if you're going to go ahead and level up Monk. Um, right here, you know, it's the whole weekend. So, you know, I would recommend getting the first two if you can. Um, just because it's a, a weekend event and not just one day. So, when it's just a one day class event for, like, a crappy class, you don't want to invest any gems in it. But if it's a weekend long event for a good class, then yeah, go ahead and do at least the first two. And maybe more. But that's pretty much the two extremes. If it's a one day event with a crappy class, maybe don't even do it at all, even the free ones. But if it's a weekend long event with a good class, then maybe then you put more gems into it, you know? Alright, let's take a look at all of the traits and talents. Then we'll just run a couple quick first battles. I'm not going to be the guy showing you the awesome team to make it all the way to the end or whatever. Um, first we have Sky Ancestry. Immune to Mana Drain, Silence, Fairy Fire, and Mana Burn. That's pretty cool. 
a lot of immunities. I hear there's a lot of immunities throughout the talents as well, to where you can have this whole thing be uh, chock full of immunities. All right, so we need a, one more yellow and brown. I'm gonna go get it in the Soul Forge instead of um, using a orange orb, wasting an orange orb on it. So maybe you can do the same. Just head in here. What was it again? Orange and yellow? Or am I being an idiot? Uh, I hope I don't have to go all the way back just to... Oh my gosh, I'm a dummy. Uh, Alright, rewards. Customize. Traits. I can just click on it, right? Oh, I don't have to click on it, but... Okay, so yellow and brown. I'm a dum-dum. I'm a dumb dummy dum dum Yellow and brown. Yellow and brown. I'm like a goldfish. Yellow and brown. I just need one. Yellow and brown. I could make them. I could make up quite a few, but I'm just gonna do the one and then do one orange orb. All right, go back in here. Go back to the class. Go back to the traits. Go ahead and get agile. Twenty percent chance to dodge skull damage, which I hear is also, uh, you know, there's gonna be the matching on brown. You get a barrier. Um, rock solid, so you're gonna have that and this, so it's gonna be pretty awesome to have a barrier and a dodge. Um, and then I'll probably use an orange orb on this, because I have plenty of orange orbs at the moment, so I'm gonna go ahead and use one. I need blue orbs right now, not orange. So we'll go ahead and do that. And, um, so now we can see everything. So... Sky Ancestry, immune to the Mana Drain, Silence, Fairy Fire, and Mana Burn. Agile, 20% chance to dodge skull damage. And Good Karma, this sounds awesome. Gain 3 mana when matching 4 or more gems. So once you get going, you're going to be gaining 3 mana every time you match 4 or more gems. And that's just going to get you up again and again and again with whatever you're using. Uh, the talents, we have Life, Stone, and Water. So we have Resilience, Gain 8 Life, Impact, Inflict Stun when enemies deal skull damage to me. Freeze a random enemy at the start of battle. Uh, on five, we have immunity to frozen. Gain two magic of using a hammer. And cleanse myself on four or five gym matches. On ten, we have recover two life every turn. All brown allies gain three armor. And gain three magic if using a pole arm. On twenty, we have all blue allies gain four life. Gain four armor for each dwarven ally. Fairy fire a random enemy when an ally dies. And then on 40, we have gain 4 life when matching green gems. Gain a barrier when matching brown gems. Submerge a random ally on 4 or 5 gem matches. On 70, we have gain bonus blue mana from blue gem matches. Gain bonus brown mana from brown gem matches. Gain bonus green mana from green, green gem matches. And then on 100, we have all fey allies gain 2 life every turn. Immune to stun, poison, disease, death, mark, and devour. And all merfolk allies gain 2 magic when an enemy dies. So fortitude good stone mastery good rock solid good um fairy fire pretty good um recover to life cleanse and then the and then a stun and a freeze right here pretty cool so freeze enemy at the start of battle cleanse myself on four or five gym matches it looks like kind of like a priest mixed with titan kind of something like that um, but let's go ahead and do a battle real quick if I'd quit going out of the menu like a dum-dum um, So we have to make a team first of all and this is all we have to choose from this is crazy. What is it? Shin Tang we have to use Shin Tang elves. Oh my goodness uh, Probably use Tuleo She's a good um, mana generator Yao Gui Transform a chosen color to yellow. Destroy all green gems of a chosen color. Uh, enchant two random allies. Destroy a column, deal 25 true damage to the weakest enemy boosted by red gems destroyed. Deal 28 damage to an enemy boosted by enchanted allies. Enchant a random ally. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Weapon. Most of the time I use like a Dawnbringer on this kind of stuff. 
Um, I don't know if this is going to be very helpful to, to you guys. Depending on what you got. And I'd hate to use two Yao Guays here, too. Ah, jeez. We should probably try to use something different. Um, div Diviner. I mean, that seems okay. Because we could turn it all to yellow. That would give Dombringer and Tuleo. I don't know. Let's try Diviner. That'd be cool. So what order do we want this in? Um, Reflect 25% of skull damage. Maybe put him first. Choose a color, enchant. I don't know. Something like this, maybe. Banners. I'm just trying to get it done. Because at the beginning, you're just going to fly through them anyway. You'll make a better team later on. This isn't like the team we will use the whole time or anything. It might be. But at the beginning, you're just going to want to get through them. Uh, with the team that hits everything. I'm looking for two green. One yellow minus blue. That might work. Uh, we got red, green, yellow, brown. So we're missing purple. If we could get uh, minus purple. That would be nice. Two brown? No. Well, at least you get to see my thought process. Not that I'm the best at making teams. I never claim to be the best at making teams. I'm like, um... I'm good at like... I don't know. Uh, man, there's no good minus purples, huh? No good minus purples for this team, at least. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I'll just go with this. For my class... I'm still working on Archmage, Magus. I got, I'm on 98. If I was on anything else, I'd probably use Monk right now. But I'm so close to getting 100 that I want to do, uh, I'm just going to leave it on whatever. So, I'm so close to 100 that I just want to uh, get it done. Or else I would definitely do Monk, you know? But I don't know, I'd use something like this, um, you know, play with it as I go. And, um... This is more of a video to describe, you know, to read the talents, read the traits, read the quest. It's not like a, uh, it's not a video to show the best team you could use for, uh, beating it, you know? Let's go ahead and kill them. What are we gonna do here? Oh, we could use Dawnbringer, probably win. And that's the first battle down, and you get more turns as the weekend goes. So, you'll get a few free turns, because it's a weekend-long event. Um, let's see here. Alright, so we'll take these skulls. It's gonna kill. Like I said, you could figure out a better team. Put it in the comments. There's not very many choices to go with, so I tried to... You know, not pick two legends or, you know, I know I got the, the Dawnbringer, so that's probably the worst of it. But, um, just use some other class that hits all enemies. Uh, use different colors. You don't want to use, like, the exact same colors as Yao Gui or anything like that. Um, I tried to use Diviner and, you know, instead of uh, another Yao Gui or something. So there's not too many legendaries and mythics on the team. But, like I said, I'm not trying to give you the best team. Uh, I really just wanted to do the quest. Show the new class. Show you how I'm doing it. And, um, you know, just a little gameplay on the new Monk class. Pretty good class. But yeah, I could see using two Yagways, two Leo, some other kind of weapon. Uh, the Monk class would be good, obviously, because you'd get extra experience right now and it would probably go good with the Shinting elves so you know something like that and um so to leo choose the color enchant all allies of that color and give six mana to them so for me i want to choose green uh because we have the most green we have three green allies and that'll get yagwe up as well who's gonna kill you know first few times through he should have enough to kill and I'm not even using my magic metals right now because I don't think I switched from Rowan yet 
Um, let's go ahead and do that now. I still don't like this new system. There should be a... It should be tied to each team, I think. And I don't know if they have a problem doing that with coding or whatever, but... Uh, three, you know, we need at least ten metal slots. Because I could use two magic and an anu. I could use an anu and two life. I could use three uh, armors. I could use three life. I could use three magic. I could use an anu and two attack. I could use three attack. Like, there's so many combinations that... Um, you know, three is like putting a band-aid on a gushing wound. Not that it's that serious, but, you know. But this team will, will do good through the, you know, first couple times. At least. Like, it could be a really good team. I don't know. Uh, let's just do one more battle, though. I don't want to make this super long. And like I said, I just wanted to show the new class, the quest, the talents, the traits, and all that. And just get you going on, on your battles, so... Um, not trying to be the number one on the leaderboard or anything, because to do that, you would just have to spend a ton of gems. And it doesn't really matter what team you use, because you would have tons and tons and tons of potions and turns. So, it's not really about the team. I mean, your team has to be competent, but you probably don't have to have the best team to make the leaderboard. You just need to have a bunch of gems, and uh, buy a bunch of turns, and uh, have a bunch of extra stats from potions, so... That's what it is, and like always, don't buy the weapon here. Uh, you can just get the weapon with 250 victories with Monk equipped, so why would you buy the weapon here and waste a bunch of gems? Don't do that unless you're going for leaderboard, so. That's the new class. It looks pretty good. Top three, I would say. Um, maybe two, number two. Um, I'd still say Titan's the best, but who knows, because we've only had it for one day, so who knows? I can't say definitively. Um, remember to join if you'd like to help out the channel more than, um, you know, a little bit more uh we have three still we have drock savage george hill and ian wanted to shout them out again because they're still the only three but uh i really appreciate those guys and um if anybody else wants to join just hit the join button uh you probably have to do it on your uh, laptop or, or desktop mode or whatever because i can't find it on phone or ps4 i'm gonna put a link in i'm just procrastinating so like share subscribe hope this helped y'all out at least showcase the new class monk did the quest showed the talents showed the traits showed you the first few battles and hopefully this helped y'all out put your teams in the comments please to help everybody out um and i'll see y'all next time peace